Alright, we're going to go ahead and get busy on this. screw into the live wire all right now this one does not have any studs here so I'm gonna take a and this is an inch and a half gap back here so I'm gonna take another one and attach it to a 2 by 4 going that way flat and then this one will be like a stud go all the way up to that so it will all be the same measurement. Uh, get down there. You know, I don't have my glasses. I gotta get my glasses, man. Because if you ain't got your glasses, well, you can't see a dead burn thing. It's gonna give us 57. Hold it on there, man. 57 and 5 eighths. 57 and 5 eighths times 2. Actually, this one we will add an inch and a half to. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if my Ciphering machine was right, and by a ciphering machine, I mean that little noggin right there. All right, slipping down. All right, that's a little tight. It's a little taut. That's no problem. I can take that screw loose right there. Put her back in. You see that wire up there that you're like what kind of carpenter is that that's called fixing stuff after you done built something else carpentry so that's gonna work you gotta get up there on a the ladder and tuck that wire up in there but you can see what I'm doing I'm trying to frame this out on the top I'm gonna put one over here where I can just put a piece of this pop well, actually up here, and here, and here, you'll see. Man, just watch. I'll show you, maybe. All right, that's framed in. You'll, you'll see how it's gonna be when I get it done. Now this is the same width from the back of the wall to here to there, even though that two by four is turned flat. It had to go flat because of that box there. And uh, so all this will be covered. I didn't exactly like working around all these live wires, but we got through it. All right, so now we go back to putting on the wall board. We'll see how far I can get with that. Now I got everything I need, everything. It's either ordered or it's here on site to finish this build. The only thing I don't have, uh, well, I gotta get screws for the metal. I haven't bought the metal. That's right down the road. So when I need it, I'm gonna go get it uh i only really need to insulate that is the floor to the loft so really i only need to insulate this part here and so that's probably all i'm going to do there's no point in insulating that there's a floor above it that's heated up there that in the winter time that loft is warmer than anywhere so 
I'll probably put a little bit up in there. I don't know. It's really not necessary. Yeah, I'll put some. I'll shove some in there. And uh, all this will be hidden here soon. How did that wire get out of there? Oh, man. Whatever. We'll take care of it. All right. We get some board cut. All right. This is going to be the next wall I put up. I've already pulled all the wires for the camera system. They're all laying outside there. So I'm going to get this piece. There's my four foot mark. That piece will be coming to here. And we're going to go ahead and just hang it up. And then I'll get my multi-tool and cut that part out. And that's where it's coming to. So we've got to cut the hole for that out or for that, all those wires. You know, I got that little box that'll go in there. And then this outlet. And then we're going to work our way that way. That's going to be difficult. Well, I wouldn't say difficult. It's just a, a lot of cuts. So that's what we're gonna do man i gotta get this thing i gotta get this thing finished uh here's the flooring i don't know if y'all i think i showed you in the one video kind of hard to see kind of a light grayish color i picked up the tools to lay this today got the whole truck full of it there's plenty to do this room maybe enough to do a bathroom too but we'll see all right, let me go get this measured up and cut this piece and bring it in. All right, guys, it's so small in this room, man. It's hard to film anything and get a good shot. So here I am, I'm gonna bring it in now. Ain't a lot of room to move. All right, let's see. I'm gonna bring this in first. Add, blame it, and all that, and good this is the man. Uh, in the name. Get up in that corner. Get out of here, laundry. What are you doing in the screen patio anyway? Oh my goodness. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Uh. All right, here I come. Is it coming the right way? Yeah. All right, I gotta stand her up. Waka booga! Stand it up on this wall. Like that so. Alright, I've got a one by four down on the ground to bring it up. So now we simply spin it around. Just when you think you moved everything out of the way, you didn't. You didn't move, diddly. Get out of there. I'd say that's a good fit. As that was enough to get the wires through that was fine all right i'm gonna pull her back put some glue on her put a few uh brad nails in there i got my air compressor in there now so that'll make that quicker and we'll get this thing trimmed and work our way that way you gonna stay there you ain't are you i know you wasn't hey now don't be spitting that stuff at me house all right, let me pull this out, find my glue. There we go. All right, that wall is up. Look how square that is. Man, the panel is square, but that wall is out of square. I knew it was gonna be, but that's why I'm putting, it's gonna have a nice trim on there, on the, across the top and on the ends. And then around, of course, around the door frame, it'll be trimmed. Uh, I ain't decided what I'm gonna use on probably just one by four is painted. I already got in mind what color I'm painting this stuff So I know what color I'm painting the trim. You guys will just have to wait and see All right I've got found the studs. I've got these tacked in glue is on there It's pretty solid 
All right, now that, that piece is up, I'm going to get the full sheets on first. That way, anything that's cut off, I can use to fill these in. So I'm going to get this crap out of the corner here, and we'll put a full sheet there. And it'll take another full sheet here. So we're going to have some pieces cut for the door. Uh, and then we'll, we'll have the scrap to, to finish these odd places out, especially in here. So I don't want to cut up a full sheet if I don't have to because there's going to be scrap anyway. So let me get that stuff cleared out, get this wall ready, and go get another piece. All right. We're making a little progress. We're making a little bit. What am I hanging up on? Oh, I'm sitting on the cord. Wow, goodness gracious and all. Oh, my, no. relying on 100% the glue and when I get done I'm gonna make some braces. That glue's sticking pretty good today. You gotta put it on and just like globs. Go on down the line, put some more globs and then if you can pull it back a bit and let it tack up, it sticks a lot better. I'm using liquid nails. Pull that dude back, get that crap out of there. Pull that dude back and glue it, stick it. And then we'll have a nice big piece here that goes to here. Cut that out and then we'll have some scrap to finish that side off with. And that's, that's uh, well, one more long big wall there. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's finish all of this, then I'll frame that out. When I'm done, I've got four sheets left. Plenty. And I'd like to have enough left to do this wall on the other side. Get Once I get that cedar out of there. So. I'm stuck, man. I can't do anything else. It's going to fall. I ain't that stupid, guys. All right, you stay there. I got one tube of glue left. It's about a tube of glue, four, one four by eight sheet. So I have to get some more glue. But we can nail it on this stuff, so I ain't worried about it. Just about like that there. It's all you need. It'll squish out pretty good. Uh, you don't want to get it too close to the edges, or you know what happens there. It seeps out, and then you get this nice white stuff. That stuff's not hard to, or not easy to clean off either. So you want to make sure it's in enough to where when you smoosh it, it don't smoosh out. You know, smooshing. Smoosh. That is a good word. Smoosh. Slice my finger open. Yeah, it did wall up. Trying to open one of these impossible plastic packages, man. That's why folding knives aren't good for that. Alright, I got a piece cut out for this. I do got the power shut off. I didn't, but I do now because I don't like messing around. I don't like jiving around in that stuff right there with the power on. Just don't. How are we going to bid that? Because i got to replace that, man. I don't have to. Let's just... Snitch it. Alright. I already got a piece cut, put on the side here. Let me try to do this. Let me pull my birches up. I'm learning. Our main breaker is off. So, you know, you 
exact. I'm gonna line it up with this edge first. Let me get a nail started. making this too permanent because I still gotta replace that ground wire. So we're gonna tack it up. I should be able to I should be able to do that without just cut that and leave it run a whole new one. Alright I really need this kind of square you know kind of I want this corner to look good. Hopefully that panel covers all that up. I think it will. I'm a little kitty wampus. All right, let's put one right here. And the brad nailers, that does not work on this stuff. It goes right through. It's gotta have a head on it. that box was real square to begin with so I'm not gonna really go off of that that'll work that screw will get up in there all right trying to remember what I got here anything so and there ain't nothing in there I don't want to fool with it there is a board up top so I can put a couple up in here I like them little finish nails It did hit the ground, so I ain't worried about it in there. So this will be removable if I need to remove it. I don't see that unless I was to replace some wiring or something. Would you just hammer it in there straight? Okay. I can take 85 hits to get you in. I don't get you. Alright, and I do get Oh, for crying out loud. Let's put you right here. I right, think that come out all right. For what it had, you know. I ain't very good at hanging this kind of thing. That's why I don't like sheetrock. I don't like it. All right, there's nothing there, but the bo the box thing will hold that in. Right, we need a couple here. This I've dropped so many things today. tight in there.
Yeah, it ain't good to leave your power on if you've got that cover off because that stuff's hot. One little slip. You're in a world of hurt. Hey now, get in there. I am prone to slipping. Let's get one there. Put the cover on. Go put the power back on. Hopefully it covers all that. Alright, got my screws. Still gotta buy these screws. Open this up so I can make sure it lines up. There we have it. Oh, much better. Don't you know? It's a little dirty. There ain't nothing a little old rag ain't going to clean up on. There's a little bit of a gap over here, but I think once the bottom's in, at least the holes line up. That's the good part. Where the hell is it? There it is. Don't you fall. I found a few. Tell things not to fall. It don't matter. They'll fall anyway. Because it don't hear you. Oh, thank God those wires are gone. Those are ugly. Little bitty gap over here. Ain't, the gap police ain't showing up anytime soon. And I still got a couple of screws to buy to put there, but... Man, that's better than it was. Let me get you off there. Come on off there. See, better than it was. It's kind of funny looking. But I'm funny looking too. So it don't matter. And then I, I don't guess it's real bad here. You know, I, I can put another nail there. Uh, that ain't too bad looking. I still got the whole window. So, yeah. Well, I forgot to mention when I was putting the glue. Don't put it on the part you're going to be cutting out. I scraped it off. I used it on that piece there. I still got a lot of nails to put in, but well, that's certainly better than it was. And we're making progress. That was the most time consuming piece and uh, it's done. Now I just got to cut the, that's going to be a little weird down there too, but not too bad. And then that ugly stuff there. Uh, it's about 430, man. So I should probably knock it off. I hate to. I'm on a roll. So we got this wall. Did we do this wall today? Good Lord, I can't remember. No, that wall was there. We put this wall up. I still got to run them, them lines back through. We got that rigmarole done. I got to put a few nails, see how it's warped. We got both of these panels on. Huh? Right there. So that wall is almost all complete. And now I got enough uh, from the piece, I, I had to cut a whole piece to get that piece because I wanted it to be one piece like it is. So, they got little uh, strips that you can buy. I've seen them today. They got the corner strips and then they got the strips for where I didn't, didn't get the gaps real good that'll cover that. So, I'm going to get those. God, they're expensive though. They're like six bucks. But Or I may just make something. That's probably what I'll end up doing. And then I've ordered oversized wall cover outlet covers to match the color of the trim that i'm doing which i'm not telling you what color that is nope once the walls are up i'm gonna paint and then that's probably the last you'll see until it's done i got well i'm gonna put the floor in when i did remember to buy the tool to put the floor in and so once the floor is up the next step is painting and after it's painted then we'll probably do the ceiling and then the floor last and then I'll put up all the trim and we will be done with this dude. So now I gotta string all these video wires back through and put them back up where they were till I get the desk and everything in here. Then I can do them permanently like. All right, man, let me see what else I can get done. All right, wires are restrung back through to the DVR for the security camera. 
Now then we'll just only come to that wall when uh, I get the desk. The desk will be here on the 10th and I'm hoping to have all this ready for it and everything painted and trimmed out. Yeah, shouldn't be no problem. I just got these smaller pieces to put on now and then, then this wall here. Still thinking about what to do with this. Whether I want to leave it in here or move it. Uh, I don't see it. It's really not going to hurt anything in there. I don't know. I'm thinking about it still. We'll figure it out then. Alright man. So we got that all set. Just got to purdy it up a little bit. Thanks for coming along guys. We'll try to get back at it tomorrow. Happy trails. You know everybody's gonna think that that biscuit's permanently attached to you because you're always in it. You're always in it. In that biscuit. You moved it off the top so it's probably wet. Who we got coming here? We got Mr. Wall though. Was you a good boy today? He was. Beautiful weather, man. Can't beat what we've been having. It rained yesterday, but it sure is nice now, isn't it, Waldo? All right, I don't know where Miss Millie went. She was here. Where are you at, Millie? You and your dog? Oh, there you are. We see you get over there with your legs crossed like a, like a woman, yeah. Like a proper woman, yeah. Whatever that means, I better edit that part out. Ladylike. Got him crossed ladylike. <laughs>